All right, yeah, sorry about that, guys. A little bit of a hassle there, but we've just set up my microphone so you can actually hear me, and welcome. This is gonna be our first ever, I think. Yeah, our first ever um, eSports Varsity that we're gonna be taking part in. Okay, so everyone's just getting ready and set up on our end, but before we jump in, just wanna say hello, guys. I'm Strongpick, I am gonna be your main commentator today and later on today we're also going to be joined in by Sir Shaq. In fact, I think I'm going to call him right now. Uh, oh, someone went to the toilet. <laughs> Alright, give me a sec, give me a sec. Very sorry guys, it's been a bit of a hectic moment for us to try and get everything sorted and everything up and running. Uh, but I hope you're all doing well and are ready to uh, watch some good League of Legends. All right, looks like Sir Shaq is about to join us in. Just gonna give him a quick moment and also add him, add in the audio. That will be a good idea. Give me one quick moment, Shaq. I'm gonna quickly see, say hello to you. If you just give me one quick moment, and there we go. Okay. Hello, Shaq. How's it going? It's going well. How, how are you? I am doing perfectly fine. Welcome to the stream. I hope everyone's doing well. We've got a lot of people already tuning in before the game's even going to be set up. You just hold on for one moment. We'll be getting the game started about 4 about 4.15 or quarter past. But, um, yeah. Um, we're all doing pretty well over here. Um, our guys have just been... Uh, warming up and getting ready. We've been having a decent season so far. What about your guys? How how are the Greenwich guys going over there? Uh, they're doing, doing pretty pretty well to be fair. Um, they were just team. They were just uh, practicing as well. Oh. Making sure they were doing Ooh. Good. So you guys have really been preparing for this, huh? Like uh, on our end, uh, we just had our team captain Asian Arises wake up just about now, uh, or like twenty minutes ago. So. Every, everyone's rip and roaring ready to go though to be fair just because he's just woken up doesn't mean that he's tardy he's been preparing this uh, pretty much all week uh, these guys have pretty much been one of our uh, mainstays in terms of like our esports teams and they've been one of the most uh, prepared we've even had one of our alumni move over to a coaching role and uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing how they progress uh, is there any expectations you want to say about your guys uh, in terms of um, you know, roles, uh, talking about uh, some of the star players that our, our viewers might want to look out for. Uh, apparently, Adam can't hear me. Adam? Oh, hang on. Can you speak real quick? Hello, hello, one, two. Oh, I'm quiet, apparently. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, hang on. All right, I'll put you up to the complete maximum on terms of my PC output. We should have really test had a test stream. But, <laughs> Probably. Uh, yeah, can you hear him now? Can you just go one, two, three? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. He's registering, uh, I think. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I think I know what's wrong. What about now? Hello? Alright. I'm going to turn you up on my end. There you go, now speak. Uh, hello? One, two, three. Yeah, Alright, cool. We'll, we'll, we'll do with that. We'll do with that. Alright. So you've got a lot of people from Greenwich ready to set up and ready to rip roaring. Uh, cheer on there, guys. So if you don't know how this guys works, this is a part of our official varsity session uh, that we're doing with Greenwich University. If you don't know, they're moving their, all their uh, sort of output in terms of the varsity this year to the online. That's why we're calling it the virtual era. And over in... Uh, over with the other sports teams, they've been, they're have been they going to be doing a certain amount of challenges and they're going to be receiving points depending on how well they they perform in said challenges. However, because uh, eSports has um, been rip and roaring for um, South Park Elephants and has been a content mainstay for Greenwich, they've offered to have a small piece of the pie given to us. So we've been given five points to give out to all of our players and we have decided... Uh, you know, together as a as a team, that um, we'll be doing a best of five in League of Legends. So we've got five of five of the best players from LSBU, and we also got six of the play, best players from Greenwich, and they're going to be dueling out in the next few hours. So you're going to be uh, viewing some really 
really special gameplay coming out from uh, these guys. I'm expecting it to be quite intense, to be honest. I'm expecting it to be intense too. Like, uh, I've been really looking forward to um, uh, like seeing these guys play because there's a bunch of players, uh, especially on our team, which I haven't really seen uh, play at the moment. I'm really looking forward to see how Humphrey performs. Humphrey was a very high-ranked player in the nor in the northeast of Europe region, so the Scandinavian regions. Um, yeah. And we've been sort of involving him in the circulation to try and bring him up in the uh, western region. And uh, we're really looking forward to see how he performs, you know, in this new environment. Uh, we also got some players which uh, I've been very looking forward to in terms of uh, their personal performance. Uh, I want to see uh, how Kelvin really performs. He's diamond diamond rank uh, player. I also want to see how Axe performs as well. Um, uh, but yeah, it's all going to be, uh, it's all going to be interesting and all going to be seeing how that performs. Uh, what about your players? Any players you want to sort of highlight from the Greenwich side of things that you really want to see perform? Uh, to be honest, I'm expecting a lot of all of them. They, I, I think they work very, very well as a team. They've been playing together for quite a while and I, I'm expecting them to play well and have good synergy together. So. Sick. All right. All right. Well, anyway, very simple. Good, but... Very plain. Straight, very straight to the point. Uh, is there any sort of like particular like uh, individual that you've uh, that you've heard about that you really want to see perform? I realise that Forney is a diamond two level in a league in league at the moment. Yeah, I mean, I I, I expect him to do well. I, I actually haven't seen him play e, uh, myself, so really, oh, so it's going to yeah. be new to you then. Uh, I think the last time I prop had I seen these guys properly perform, it was. Uh, in uh, everyone, we want to shout out quickly to the guys over at Huddle and ha their tournament, their university invitational tournament, uh, which we had against uh, UCL, Roehampton, uh, Queens Mary, uh, stuff like that. And you know, one team that was very lef left out was you guys. Um, you know, because we had very limited players, but that's also like a huge shame because seeing how. Uh, Seeing how stacked your team is at the moment, it's definitely going to be um, an interesting sort of, uh, sort of a uh, you know um, experience. Seeing how you know this these two teams interact because these teams actually haven't uh, they've not actually uh, interacted with each other um, yeah, very I much. Not that we've even faced each other in NUL. No, not in NUL, not in NSC, not in any of them. So it's going to be very interesting to see uh, basically how these two teams interact and how they. Uh, how they just really interact with each other, really. So it's gonna be it's gonna be an experience, guys. So buckle up, get make sure you get a snack, make sure you get something, make sure you get ready because this is gonna be one hell of a series. I'm gonna quickly change over to the client so you guys can basically see because we're about to start soon. We're just waiting for Proto to get ready and ready for the teams to really start up. Uh, so yeah, so. Is there anything you want to sort of talk about uh, in terms of your team's uh, structure? I can talk about our team structure real quick and what to expect in terms of uh, who's going to play, play who and what I remember from each one of their uh, specific captains. I don't think uh, it. I don't think it will be too much of a shock to like uh, because I'm sure both teams probably got um, like at league stats ready and opening and trying to run over yeah. each of their, their comps anyway. So it's probably not going to be a bad thing just to quickly run over them uh, i know we're having a bit of a um different format to then what they've been practicing just because we have a, a newer player mike oh really who, um yeah he's going to be playing jungle instead okay but, um yeah apart from that every i think it, it's going to go well it's definitely going to be uh, definitely going to be interesting. I'm seeing the uh, roles for our team in particular. Um, ever since uh, the big changes coming from the alumni uh, change uh, from the last season, we're going to be seeing uh, David, aka the Asian Arises, aka the man who was robbed of his MVP level um, in the uh, University Invitational from Planet Nine. Uh, he's going to be taking uh, the mid jungle position. Uh, I've definitely seen him uh, perform well as fresh. Uh, we're also going to be seeing, 
We're also going to see Axe taking sort of a mid jungle position, so we're going to be playing sort of like a very fluid style and a very adaptable style uh, coming in. I think that's uh, no thanks to uh, the work Daz has been putting in to try and get the team to be a little bit more flexible uh, in terms of some of the situations. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a very hard team to track, but we're definitely going to be looking at the uh, the choices from each players. And yeah, uh, I'm not say Shaq. I'm not very um, I'm not very uh, you know versatile in terms of how league uh, league plays. So tell me, as someone who's probably a little bit more experienced in the the league teams and the league side of things and the league meta, what would you expect coming out of um, both teams and in terms of character picks, in terms of you know maybe bans? What are both teams trying? What's both teams trying to aim for? Both teams will be aiming for their essentially highest win rate picks. So, say for instance, uh, someone on your team plays uh, Garen really well then mm -hmm. they will be trying to ban that champion so that they're on a champion that they're less comfortable with. They also may choose uh, bans which favor them their uh, team comp a bit more. Okay, so it's just going to be sort of like a open sort of setup, we're going to be experimenting in some sort of sense, and yeah. we're just going to be seeing... Uh... It's mostly going to be, probably going to be a lot of counter picks though as well, especially as you see the uh, last drafts. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of counter picks coming in from uh, this side of things. Uh, I can definitely assure you guys of that. Uh, just give me one quick sense. We already got Proto spamming in chat. Uh, this use of kit gets it. Proto is legit the best player in the world. Like, honestly, if he had a million fans, I'd be one of them. And if he had a hundred fans, I'd still be one of them. And let's be honest, if Thornley only had one fan, it would be me. And I'm going to say it, Thornley has no fans. That means I'm no longer on this earth. Uh, I forget change the the actual names. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think the uh, spams are coming in, and they're definitely going back back in and out. Uh, some some guys called uh, Fruity Carrots uh, and Laura. It's basically we already got like the sh the dare I say it the shit talk already coming out in the chat. Uh, we love to see it. We love to see you guys interacting, and we hope the guys are going to be screaming as much as possible. Uh, I was about to ask, are they waiting for us, or are they waiting for each other? Um, I don't understand. I think that everyone's sort of getting their coffees. I think we're about to get underway. Uh, yeah. Just need to... Just need to just sort of wait just for a little bit. Just for a little bit. And then uh, we'll, we'll be getting underway. Uh, we'll have that, uh, I think it's like two, 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 five, two or three minute delay uh, before the game actually starts for us, though. Yeah, yeah, so, of course, we're going to be uh, playing on a delay capture just to make sure that it's going to be an even playing field. Uh, yeah. So you guys got to have to be a little bit uh, considerate. Um, and if, if any of the players are in the chat, no spoilers, all right? We want to actually experience the play as it goes, all right? We're also going to be seeing, uh, we're also both spectators in the entire game, so we might be commentating on different elements of the game as we're spectating different parts. Uh, I'll make sure that I'm on sort of the auto director while Kelvin, I mean, no, Shaq here, is going to be more roaming around the place trying to get some specific parts, maybe even some uh, bias cool clips for uh, the gameplay capture. <laughs> Ready, fam. All right, we're jumping straight in. Let's go. All right, go transition quickly over to the uh, banning stage. We've got Kelvin banning first. Let's see what they're going to pick. Tell me, as soon as these characters come up, do you sort of have any experience with, you know, the general uh, meta of the United at the moment, or do you think? Uh, not the not the general meta, but I do have. Uh, these guys would pick, and Hecarim was definitely a choice that they were looking to pick. So Hecarim was a good ban on their side. Right. All right, gotta turn that down so you guys can actually hear Shaq speak. Uh, so immediately Zed is banned and Lilia is banned. Lilia, I think it's one of the newer ones. I remember that she was added very recently, and I do know that it's uh, she's been a mainstay for the current uh, mainstream builds. If you see uh, on LC and stuff like that. You definitely want to watch watch out for those sort of picks. Uh, Kelvin is banning again. Uh, on our side, we've banned Caitlyn and Hecarim. Hecarim, yeah. Hecarim. 
and Uda is also banned. Is that how... I'm going to butcher all these names, and you better be ready for it, and I'm not even going to be sad about it. I'm all surprised. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I've just got to um, sit back, wait yeah, for it. Yeah. Oh, Gargus is banned. I definitely know that's a favourite for uh, our particular team, so I definitely know you guys got the... Uh, uh, you guys definitely have the uh, League of Legends sort of elements, uh, League of Legends stats up. Yeah, yeah. Comparing these two, these two are very like even teams on the on paper. I do know Udir and Caitlyn are very very strong in there right now. Hmm. What sort of their game plans? What 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 do they add really to the team? Well, Udir is very, very strong, well, very tanky as well as doing a lot of damage. Meanwhile, Caitlyn has a lot of range. So I see. Really easily bully people out of lanes. Mm, I definitely know that the ultimate is a very big mainstay of the team fights. Uh, yeah. You really pop the ultimate and you're guaranteed at least one kill, uh, considering that everyone else is sort of busy trying to man manage everyone. Uh, on Kelvin's team, on our team, the uh, Southbank Elephants, we're picked with Seferin, or the new, new character. <sighs> Butchered another name, god damn it. Uh, I think Kelvin's coming out with a support. I'm just picking out a quickly uh, quick support. Meanwhile, on the other side, Lee Sin is picked. That's going to be a that's going to be a, uh, a very good character. You're going to see, I think, on the jungle or Min because I don't jungle. Yeah, so I believe. Morgana is picked on the other side. Very uh, very some popular picks at the moment. Bring some very standard stuff. Got 10 seconds, what's Axe going to pick? Ooh. Olaf. Olaf, is he massing over Olaf? The big boys coming in, shout out to the big boys. <laughs> um, oh boy. Gonna be a real fun time here. Kaisa. Kaisa. ADC. ADC, yeah. I definitely know that Kaisa was uh, a very huge win rate way back in the day. I think, especially during the Worlds period. Uh, Kesa was one of the highest uh, win rate picks, and if you didn't ban them, then uh, it was a big problem. Wait. Wait. No. No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that's, uh, that's an odd one. Yeah, um, even for me. Uh, if you guys don't know, Teemo is pretty much the uh, troll pick. It's Teemo is very annoying. <laughs> Anyway. It's very annoying, but it's also very low tier. I think it's safe to say. Like, uh, it depends on, on how well. Yeah, how I mean, you, you can are. tier list doesn't really matter in this sort of sense. You could argue, but then again, it's Teemo. Was that a, was that a misclick? That's was that was that a Dota two at Worlds misclick? Picking no, that was that was perfectly. That they mean they meant to do that. They meant they to do know, that. They probably know what they know what they're doing better than I do anyway, so For all, South Bank Elephants, this is your biggest challenge ever. Can you get past the annoying little rodent with a with a goggle cap and a bunch of mushrooms? Anyway, final bands coming in from each side. Kesadin is the final band from the Greenwich side. Meanwhile, over on the South Bank side we're gonna be seeing uh them just taking their time. Got one more ban, and Silas is going to be their final ban. Another pop of the pick. Right, you picked Teemo. What else are you got to build around this? All right, what's your plan? What's your game plan? Apparently, it's a it's a proxy pick. It's a proxy pick. What does that mean? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea either. It's a proxy pick. Prick pick. <laughs> Thornley's Kothakus is pretty cracked. Alright, we'll take make sure we have a look at that then. Oh wait, did they ban it? Sorry, this Malphite, uh, Caitlyn, Harakrim. The Teemo is apparently Samira. Okay. Okay. Anyway, so they're picking, uh... I guess we're both pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, like, in tournament draft, do you get to, like, change out, like, last minute? Like, uh, so they pick Teemo just so they have, like, a, 
like an extra opening or is that is did he just lock in Timo so they're stuck with Timo um, and the fresh we did see did say that the fresh was coming in uh, the Asian arises <laughs> is definitely one to pick fresh so we're gonna session I think we're gonna be seeing him on the fresh later on uh, we're gonna be seeing a lot of hooks boy we're gonna be a lot of hooks just doesn't own Samira so they have to pick a random champion okay that makes sense fair enough I had to pick a random champion, and it got given Teemo. Well, I, I think it's still Samira. It's, I, I'm pretty sure it's just Samira. Just it says Teemo because they don't own. Right. What, what happened? Uh, someone left the lobby. Uh, okay. What happened to Muji? Uh, he left apparently. Oh, oh. it's a proxy pick. Timo was Samira. All right, so that was a it was a misclick. Yeah. All right. Uh, they're just banning random characters and gonna pick the same characters, I assume. Yeah. It wasn't a mix. Uh, what? It wasn't a misclick. What? Well, what does proxy mean? <laughs> if you didn't mean to pick it and you're not picking Timo, then why are you picking? I don't know. There we go, Samira. Alright, Samira is picked. Weird ass rules, man. Weird ass rules. I don't understand the rules either, but. It's because the person picked Teemo doesn't own the champion. Okay. Okay. Guys, remember to buy all your champions before you enter the game, alright? South what? South Bank. Hello, Tallulah. Hope you're doing well. We're just about to get started. About to get into game one of the best of five series. So make sure you get, you know, tucked in. This is going to be a huge, huge series, guys. It's going to be a huge series. We're just going through some technical difficulties earlier. Uh, we sort of had a confusion in terms of a proxy pick. It definitely confused the commentator team over here. Pick was on purpose. That's, that's all the matters. Yeah, it was on matters, and that apparently just... will get explained to us later. Yeah, well, I already explained it. Uh, basically, if you don't know, you have to buy all your champions, and sometimes you just pick a champion. Uh, and if someone wants to pick, you know, a particular champion, but they don't own it, then they have to call it a proxy. So in that case, they pick Teemo, but they're really meant to pick Samira. So I guess that is in the rules, but in the future, make sure you spend the money in the eSport you want to participate in, guys. Come on. Don't don't be fools. Don't be fooling us. Don't be fooling us. Anyway, so yeah, I mean, we are... Common mechanic in semi-professional scene, when you want to keep some pick order, but one of your teammates doesn't own the champ you want, you just pick something you have and let the other team know what champ it's supposed to be. Yeah. There we go. That makes sense. Alright. That makes perfect sense. Funny how, uh... Us two who don't know the most about League. <laughs> <laughs> no well, League, you know, this is going to be a fun time. You know, it's going to be friendly rivalry. It's mostly going to be us, me, shit talking every single time we get a pentakill. Oh, every time you get a pentakill. Every time we get a pentakill. Because it's going to happen. I, I, I feel the Asian arising in me. All right. I feel the Asian arising. Anyway, just waiting for stream later today. We'll be starting in three moments. Anyway, I'm going to be right back. I just need to sort something out. Ah. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay, yeah, steady as it goes. Right. So, do you want to quickly talk about how the point system is going to be working in this stage before we, before we get started? It's a, is it just a best of five? It's a best of five, but... Uh, it's a little bit more complicated than that. So to make sure everything's even and hard work is rewarded, uh, if it's a f if one team wins three, best of three with the score being three two, then the points will be basically split. So three points will be going to the winning team, but two points will be going to the losing team. However, if one team three owes the other team in a clean fashion, that'll be the entire five points going towards the winning team. So it's all going to be it's going to be a marathon. It's not going to be a uh, it's not going to be a sprint. You know, it's not winner takes all. It's going to be who's going to be uh, 
it's basically going to be the winner's going to go to the team who's willing to you know battle through come back and just um finish the job really so it's going to be uh it's going to be uh, a fun time Ugh, any final moments before we get into the actual game shack quite evenly matched in terms of actual ranks very um, evenly matched like seriously but, like both both between gold and diamond we, both you guys have i think more players in diamond but we have the more consistent players uh and yeah it's really going to come down to how these teams really organize each other because i think in terms of skill level uh they're very hard to like uh move to like uh move around so we're definitely going to be seeing which team's going to be coming out with the best strategies, with the best movement, and with the best adaptability, really. Because, uh, you know, in the best of five series, you're going to be playing for a long time. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's got to be tiring. It's got to be a marathon. And it's got to be an utter brawl at the end of it. But, um, at the end of the day, it's going to come down to whichever team has the best synergy. Yeah, it's going to be all down to the, to the good old synergy. All right, we might be a, the... We're going to be going in 20 seconds. It might take a little longer for the stream because I need to make sure that everything's properly set up. But yeah, just going to get this over here and stuff. Got to do a bit of my stream magic, aka the same magic which ruined some of the other streams because I'm kind of like that sometimes. But uh, yeah, we're about to jump into it now. So just wait for the game client to load up. Give it two moments. Just give it two moments. All right. All right, here we go. It's starting to load up. So what are your predictions? How, how do you think this is going to go down in terms of... Uh, really? Of course, you, you probably believe that... Uh, uh, I hope that we will... Greenwich would win. <laughs> uh, I do. I do have a lot of hope for them. I do think they're going to play very, very well. Um, but we never know until the games are over. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Uh, I'm going to be seeing. Uh, I'm going to be looking forward to. Um, I'm going to be looking forward to just seeing how uh, the guys really progress in terms of, uh, you know. Uh, just, just, just in general, like their, uh, their sort of like, uh, progress as players, how really they've really like moved, because this is a fairly new team for us, uh, performed after a bunch of our best players sort of left. And, uh, yeah, it's gotta be, it's gotta be an interesting situation. We're gonna be jumping in soon. Hopefully any moment now. You can see my mouse, you can't see my mouse. Pretty standard uh, runes on all of the... Yeah, so if you guys don't know, we all really have uh, the one main ability, which is uh, Flash, which will teleport you out of a particular uh, a particular sort of area. So uh, if you get caught in a sort of a picky predicament, you can just flash out of, uh, out of harm's way, and you'll be basically given, uh, basically given a second chance. Meanwhile, the extra sort of step is uh, something which is a little bit more personal to your role. So, in terms of Kelvin's fresh over here, he's got ignite, which will deal a lot more more uh, damage over time because he's going to be playing in the jungle. Meanwhile, someone like Olaf is going to deal right. something with damage. Uh, Kelvin's going to be support. Kelvin's going to be support. Fresh. You see, yeah. you see, <laughs> this is exactly oh, what I mean. Jungle. Jungles always take smite, so we have. Uh, Olaf and Lee Sin in jungle. Then we have a um, Shen top, most likely facing a Nar. We've got Samira versus Kaisai in bottom with their supports. Um, we got more. We got um, sorry, Morgana most likely mid. Oh no, Morgana's gonna be support. Sorry. Our jungler ha has. Radio. Our jungler was the toaster. Okay, so someone's got so we're loading a long time to load in because someone's got a toaster for PC. It's lovely ah. to know. Lovely to know. 
<laughs> not not my issue. I've got a perfectly good PC uh, that occasionally crashes if it's streaming like uh, video and stuff. But uh, yeah, well, I did put like a free thirty seventy in there earlier earlier this year. So uh, it's taking a lot of power, like a lot of power. It's a beefy boy, beefy boy. You got to get another power supply for that as well. Well, it's seven hundred fifty watts, so it's technically oh, in the yeah. technically in the uh, good range, but it's also right at the peak. So it's uh, something which you know I have to be mindful of. We are about to jump straight in, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Got to be watching the directed camera, and uh, yeah. Just give everything a moment to start up. And off we go. Both teams spawning in. Sort of getting ready. So if you're new to League of Legends and you haven't really seen it before, like you're just here to watch uh, both the teams really duke it out. Then this is how it's going to go down. Uh, basically, you've got both ends of the both ends of the field. You've got a nexus, and between that, you've got a bunch of turrets. And then every single sort of uh, and then every single sort of moment, they've got a wave of minion coming in rows of three. So you've got the top main, the mid lane, and the bot lane uh, in that order from top to bottom. So it's going to be basically a tug of war. Uh, it's basically going to be uh, both teams trying to farm for minions, trying to get some of the extra minions in the jungle and trying to get each other up to, as quickly as possible in terms of leveling. Once they get up to a particular level, they're going to try and work together to try and push their minions down the field to take out the enemy nexus. Uh, it's it's a very it's very simple once you start to learn about it. And if you want to always check out, you know, which team's doing the best in each particular stage, you always have to look at the uh, the scoreboard up here you got the total amount of team gold the total amount of turrets that we've that each team's taken down and the total amount of kills generally it also means that uh each team will have uh it, it's very easy to track which team has all the momentum coming in the tug of war but just because the team is down does not mean they're out it's always a chance for a team to really come back if they've coordinated enough and they have a big sort of momentum swing so definitely keep an eye out definitely keep that in mind and make sure you get ready so we're seeing one of our team members uh seeing one of our team members yeah well i think one of the team members from our team uh acts having some problems give me a quick moment Very sorry about that guys, I had to go off and do some big work. <laughs> uh, oh boy. 
You there, Shaq? Yeah, I'm, I'm still here. Chill, chill, chill. Anyway, we're immediately going forth. We got Axe basically as a team trying to take down one of the minions in the jungle. That will give you a little bit extra gold. Meanwhile, Prota is handling the mid lane against Miji. Let me turn you up. Let me just. Uh... Can we to the microphone as well? Yeah, I'm gonna need to turn you up a little bit. At least turn it, turn the volume for us down. Uh, I'm gonna turn that down a little quick for you there. Pro production over here at South Bank. Meanwhile, we got Humphrey and Kelvin trying to look after the bot lane. Meanwhile, Fornley and Cads like you guys have very confusing names. Like Ids Cadsy. What? How do you pronounce all you guys' names? That one personally. Sounds <laughs> yeah. like a bot made them. <laughs> anyway, that's a bit uh that's a bit of BM for you guys. Yeah, fairly standard stuff so far, just both teams trying to take down each other's sort of minions, trying to make sure they can get sort of like a momentum switch so they can push towards a tower. But generally they're just trying to get money at the moment. Trying to get money so they can buy equipment, and once they get equipment, they can go back and fight stronger minions, and they can get leveled up much faster. Oh, handy roots, Humphrey there. I'm gonna call him Cads. Can you press zero, please? Can you press O? There you go. So you can see the scoreboard. Alright, there you go. I pressed O. You can see the scoreboard now. Range, time controls. There you go. I'm just going to close it all sort of down for you guys. Uh, that. I don't know. We'll just do that. We'll just do that. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, here we go. We've got a first team fight coming in. Asian Arise is in big trouble. He managed to get Flash straight out of there. It's anyone's game here. They're just trying to fight the bot lane at the moment. Asian Arise is very low. This is going to be a very dangerous situation. If you don't know Gar, uh, he can change to a big boy over there, so he can turn into a tank on a dime. But. That doesn't mean that he's not fragile. He has to be really careful about his positioning. Is pretty strong. He is very low health as well. Mm. Coming in. Oh, we got a bit of a team fight again. Asian arises, trying to jump back, but he does not see the Stefan coming in. But he just managed to avoid our dodge. But he is just trying to be a little bit cheeky, a little bit of a troll there. Just trying to take pot damage where he can, but he does manage to get out of there. That could have been very dangerous. That was good initiative on Greenwich to try and push there. Can you put the champions in order? I do not know, like, in what order. Oh yeah, I can drag him, can I? Yeah. Oh, we got our first slate, and it's going to be Prota. Is that slate? Is that? A first kill. I missed it. I missed a first death. Uh, it's going a little bit crazy, ain't it? Yeah, fairly even so far. Like, we were chalking up like how even, like, uh, it would be, but these teams have both gotten very similar setups. Uh, one thing that's uh, good for the SPU side is they have taken power break. So that will give them a bit of an XP boost. Ultimate ability haste, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Well. Proto is just trying to space them out. We also got over here someone in the jungle. I think Proto should be really careful because I think he has got a target on his head.
right, they're going to channel back. And the bot lane is going to be basically given up. But that's not... That's not a bad thing for the Greenwich side. They're going to be going back and buying uh, equipment. So far we can see that... Uh, Shen does have a uh, farm lead on Nar. As well as Samira has a farm lead on Kaisov. As well as Titans as well. Kaisov mm -hmm. hasn't backed yet. Very decent play here. Just trying to space each other out. They know exactly how much range each character has. Muji, the Kentucky Fried Chicken Chicken. Is just gonna like fail to really like break sort of Proto's position there, and he's gonna be able to sort of push his bots across the mid section or the mid lane. Uh. Go on bot lane and pushing a tower plate. Uh, yeah, I can see that. In fact, it changed directly to that. That turret is looking very, very damaged. There, but Nothing. South Bank just managed to push him back just a little bit more. But I think Greenwich are winning the bot lane here. With a slight XP boost and with a minion with a better sort of minion dragons. They're gonna spot a Ugh, very even, very even. Is there anything I've noticed you see from the Greenwich boys that you've uh, you feel you find standard, you find good, or is there anything you really like find find surprising about their play currently? Do you expect them to be a little bit more aggressive, or do you expect them to be uh, sort of uh, sort of trying some new stuff or trying to test a little bit more? Uh oh, it's being about that. Kellen goes straight in. We are feeling a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Humphrey damages heavily onto the cads. Ooh. And, he's really, and the first blood goes to goes to Greenwich, but it's quickly built back in the top lane as Axe takes down one. But in comes Muji. He's going to be taking out Asian Arises. He's going to pull out his bulky form. But he's going to be very low. He's just about to get to the turret. But Proto comes straight in. Muji, he thought he was going to go back to the bot lane. Asian Rise is going to go down. He is sort of overly aggressing. And this is bad news for LSBU because it looks like the first set of team fights are going to go to the way of Greenwich. Wowzers. And Prota is not going to have any place to hide. Yeah, and Kelvin. He's just standing here looking after his turret, really. Trying to make sure it doesn't go down. And he might be losing his health himself. Axe going in again. He is going to shut down. But he is also going to be in Huberry's lane. And he's going to lose his life as well. This is horrible news for the South Bank. That was a very ba bad start. 2-6. But they did get the shut down. Shut down, shut down gold. So that does give Oda a Yeah. It does give him a lifeline. However... It's hard to say that Greenwich had, didn't get the better end of those deals. Meanwhile, Asian Horizon is going to be working on this top turret here. Trying to see if they can find anything. Hubery is going to intervene to try and stop David's sort of aggression. Big fight here for the top lane. Meanwhile, there's also some a lot of presence down here. Looks like Greenwich are gunning for the Drake. This will get them a lot of money in the long run. And there's no LSBU sort of teammates in sight to challenge it other than Axe. And they're going to miss out on the Drake there. And Red Team get the Dragon. Looks like the early momentum is going to go to Greenwich. Dragon's going to mean a passive buff to all players and it's also going to mean a monetary bonus as well.
Crota is going to be forced off the mid position. Going to launch the ultimate here. Is Crota going to get multiple here? Crota is going to grab Sinchi. Is he going to take taken down? No. It's going to be Saad shutting down Prota there. Almost getting multiple hits there with the, with the well-timed ultimate. But it's not going to look too good for him. Meanwhile, Adrian Rising has his own sort of hassles in the top lane. He's going to be fighting head-on against Hubery. And here he's just going to try and take down the turret. Yeah, you want to check anything out? This be structured. First set of fights really done. Meanwhile, David. Oh, David, what are you doing, bro? You're getting fought out. Oh my god, he's being chased. Look at this. He's going to trigger his his uh, alternate form to try and get a little bit more beef, but it's also going to slow him down slightly as he's being chased by three other P players. Is he going to get away? No, Saar. Mang should get him to the other end. Whew. David! David's running for his life here. He's going to get caught out in the end. Ah, oh. Greenwich reads him like a book. Kelvin is going to be spotted out in the jungle by the ward. And Muji moves straight back in. I really like this dynamic. Uh, yeah, that 3-3-1 three, three, though. Definitely considering it. You definitely have to consider uh, Muji's versatility at the moment. I'm seeing him everywhere on the map, and he's the mid player. I definitely think that he's uh, putting uh, putting a lot of work for his team. Also, with two kills and two assists. Mm. Meanwhile, Southbank are making their own move. They're going straight in, but it's a very good counterplay from Greenwich. Oh, it's all going down for Southbank. This is not looking good. A triple kill coming out for the University of Greenwich. Yikes. Yeah, it's not looking good. Not looking good for this LSBU team at all. It's only got David out alive on the field at the moment. That means that if Greenwich want to, they can really think about pushing. We already had a bunch of people go back to spawn to drive by and more utility and then immediately go and go back to their positions. And this turret, I feel like this turret's got to go down immediately. So, Shaq, you know, you've, you've played League of Legends here and there, you know, at a very light level, but still. If you're in the South Bank side, what would you try and do? I'm not, I'm not too sure. <laughs> Yikes! It's ugly! It's ugly from Greenwich. Oh god. Yeah, they really sort of out-removed him. We're basically talking about, you know, out-moving and out, uh, sort of out-dueling them in different positions. And this is exactly what we were talking about. Greenwich running circles around the competition of LSVU. Another blue turret's been destroyed, but they are going to get pick up a kill at the very least. In fact, a turret's also going to go down from the Greenwich side as well. So there is a lifeline for, for South Bank. They've taken down turret. They've taken down another player. It's going to be a slow build and they're definitely... You know, staring in the face of defeat at the moment if things carry on as they're currently going. But there is, like, some stuff to consider. If they manage to work as a team and manage to take out some personal objectives here and there, this is definitely in the realm of position to try and take this back. I'm really immediately going to spot out the ward. He's going to level up because of it. It looks like a fight. A team fight is coming straight in for this dragon. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be Greenwich trying to fight off. They're going to try and, try and split up. They managed to 
get two sides. Can Humphrey come in to try and kill it? Can he? South Bank needs this if they needs this Drake if they want him to come back. Humphrey is merely going to take down, but Shunji is unstoppable. Merely going to take it down, but Axe shuts him down. Thornley going to get another kill though, and South Bank are trying to run away. This is not looking good for the elephants, as they're going to get stomped straight back. Greenwich, I'm going to take out. I'm going to win the team fight. And they're looking like the dragon is going to be theirs as well. Yeah, that's why they fought. They, that's why they fought for it. That's why they wanted it. And that and Greenwich are going to get it. So, at what point do you think South Bank going to think about the next game? Because <laughs> this is not looking good. This is not looking good at all. Yeah, they're grouping up. They're trying to take down another turret. David and Proto are going to be trying to fight this back. But four people on the mid turret. This is looking like a build up to a push from the Greenwich side. They want to end this, and they want to end this quickly. They got, they got a ma a minimum of two more games to play. They want to make sure they blast right through this right now. It's still winnable for you. In what way? Uh, well. If they group up, team fight at the right time, take Baron, maybe push mid, get back a few towers in the mid, they could definitely win it. Yeah. It's definitely going to be a bit of a struggle, but they are looking at the fan. And meanwhile, why did they pick this thing up? They pick up the mouth fight, and that's going to deal a lot of damage to the mid turret. The Rift Terrell. Thank you. Malphite is the champion, ain't it? Yeah, Malphite. <laughs> Professional League streamer. Watch out. Watch out, Mass Squad. Watch out, uh, freaking Casing. I'm gunning for your job. Meanwhile, South Bank are going to shut down. And this is looking like a big swing. Axe. He's looking to take out Humphrey, and they're looking to take down Thornley as well. Triple kill coming straight in for LSBU. We asked them, and they received. Looks like Melf Muji is going to be the last one standing for the Greenwich side. And looks like South Bank are going to get an ace coming straight in. We asked for a way to come back, and this might just be what the doctor ordered. This is exactly what I mean. The game's never over to the second. Yeah, second turret coming down as well. And South Bank, you know, they had a problem with resilience in the previous in previous tournaments, but here they're gonna go straight for the mid turret as well. Look at this! Down, but not out. South Bank gives themselves a lifeline. Here comes Humphrey trying to coming straight in from the jungle. Gonna go straight in. He is gonna get the tiki pill right there. There goes Kelvin. Gonna get caught out, and everyone else is gonna go back straight back. So Greenwich do get something out of that exchange, but that was sort of a lazy play from the Greenwich side, you have to admit. Meanwhile, Greenwich, they saw the opening and they realised what they just gave away. They do not want to give away more. They're looking for the Baron. Halfway killed, they're all ganged on the Baron. Axe is the only person there from South Bank. Trying to look for a cheeky sort of steal, but he's going to get directly shut down. This Baron's going to be all Greenwich. But meanwhile, David is going to be looking from the from the backside. He is looking for a cheeky steal. No, red team going to take that for themselves. Greenwich taking the Baron. I'm going to have to turn this down and turn you back up after this game's finished. <laughs> um, I don't think uh, I don't think people really hear, heard that. Uh, but yeah, as you were saying? Uh, if uh, Kozolev was dead, they had no smite, which means it would have been a lot harder for them to still barrack. Yeah, that was definitely the plan for South Bank. They're really looking for sort of like a way to cheese this at the moment. And that team fight, was a, that ace was a very good start. But they're going to need more than a start. They're going to need a middle. They're going to need an end. They're going to need the entire sort of story at the moment. As Kelvin and another two kills go to the way of Greenwich. J 
you like that call out? I love that call out as well. <laughs> sure. Don't need a, they need more than a start, they need a middle, they need an end, they need the entire free of act structure. Meanwhile, mid turret's gonna be taken down. This is gonna be the last turret before the base is being attacked by South Bank. It's do or die, boys. Let's see how South Bank can react to this. Looks like Greenwich are going to go back, though. They're going to be looking for... Is this another Drake? Are they looking for, to get another Drake? This is greedy at this point. This is just greedy. They really want to wrap this up. Put this to bed. They got the Baron. They're looking for another third Drake in a row. Yeah. South Bank are... Did attempt to be there to contest, but they're just going to be straight out. So, if you're South Bank, let's see the play. I think they were really caught out by some of the weird sort of mid plays that uh, Muji was really going into. Because I was very impressed about his early game from that player. Uh, and he was really like dynamically like supporting his team throughout the map. I don't think they were really expecting sort of like how early this aggression be in, and they really just steamrolled them. So yeah, if I were them, I'd try and see if I could team up for the next game a lot sooner, and see if I can try and see if we can try and do our own sort of like a uh, counterplay, you know. Because there's still time for South Bank to take this back. This is a best of five. There's going to be a, ma a minimum of three games played tonight. And you're going to be sitting here throughout the entire bit. Stefan is going to be on a rampage. I'm another player, sort of like shocking, sort of me particularly. Stefan really coming out of his shell here. Alright, here we go. The advance on the turret has been made. The top turret is going to be comes directly in. Blue turret destroyed. South Bank trying to team fight, trying to take them out. They do shut down Stefan. And Thornley is going to take them for lunch right here. Mm, it's very scary. It's terrifying, you'd say. The top invidibut is taken. The top turret will be challenged. And I think this will be the push Greenwich are going to look for to end this for South Bank in terms of the first game. Top turret is going to be taken. Second turret is going to be taken. So here comes Kelvin trying to make something work, trying to back them up, and they are going to go back. They are all quite low right now, so they're going to yeah. down there, it will be an easy shot down for the team. Yeah, that's definitely not something you want to give away to your opponent. But at least with South Bank, it does give him a little bit of breathing room. But, yeah. To be honest, like, I think this game's pretty much over. Unless South Bank could do something miraculous at this point. Here comes Axe. He's just going straight in. Look at this guy go. Meanwhile, support coming in from South Bank. He's gonna take down. He's gonna take down Axe right there. Meanwhile, Kelvin does do well in the support. Thornley is looking for a double kill here. He's just gonna get the one. Meanwhile, Proto. Stefan catches Proto in the back line. And they're gonna get caught out as well. Kelvin, support, caught in a bad space. They try to make something work. They try to make at least something work. But nothing is looking to be in their favour. Messages coming out in Discord. I think that's it, ladies and gentlemen. You better come back stronger because you're because you're looking at something from the Greenwich side. You're looking at aggression which you never expected. And now the second turret's gotta be taken down. Ladies and gentlemen. We expected a close matchup, but we did expect a team to be tactically dominant if they're wanting to really get an advantage here. And Greenwich definitely showing their tactical dom dominance. 
right here, right now. Meanwhile, they're just trying to finish up a re-aggression coming from Greenwich. They're going to take down the Olaf. And then Moji manages to save himself before he was able to be taken out. Double kill. Only three players on South Bank's side to try and defend this turret. Yeah, that's in second. Here we gone. The turret will be even weaker now. And Greenwich are going to be taking this. Fairly simply, fairly easy. We did chuck up the individual skills and how they were even, but one team was tactically dominant in that sense. And it's going to be Greenwich taking game one. Well, well, well. Just look at that scoreboard. Olaf putting in a good sort of tent, but look at this. Look at these assists coming out, especially from freaking... Uh, Especially if coming up from Muji. Like, 19 assists during that entire thing. 19 assists also coming out from Hubery. And Thornley coming out with a 14-9 kill to death ratio. Like, insane play coming up from the Greenwich guys, really. You have to you have to respect that. You have to really respect that if you're South Bank. And you have to sort of think about, about how you're going to come back from that, guys. Like, seriously, guys. Oof. Woof is what I have to say. Woof. Okay. Good job, Greenwich. Yeah, good job, Greenwich. Your guys put in, put in the work. Put in the work. So, what do you think about uh, what do you think about uh, South Bank's odds after that? What do you think um, they should really think about in going into the next game? Just um. They should have learned from that game. They, uh, during that game, they learned exactly how the enemy yeah. played. I can definitely tell you, Daz uh, in the chat is going to be fuming. He's going to be giving them a fucking uh, the blow dryer treatment. Let me tell you that. That's not something I'd expect from him. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be uh, looking towards uh, the future. It's going to be looking towards uh, the next sort of next sort of uh, game. We're going to take. Uh, do, 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 hang on, I'm going to message these guys. Uh, I think we're going to take a five minute break just so. Just so we can uh, refresh ourselves to get ourselves ready. Sure, that's fine. I'm just going to have a look through my recording to make sure everything's fine. Cool, cool, cool. You do that, you do that. Anyway, so yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Uh, we're just going to have a quick little break and we're going to uh, come back when we're ready. And we'll see you guys ready for the second game. It's 1-0 to Greenwich. Let's see how the South Bank Elephants are going to bounce back.
Anyway, anyway, guys, we are back. Uh, we're going straight into it now that we had a quick little break. Uh, we got Mr. Shack here. It's a little bit louder as from uh, compared to last time. Uh, do you want to say hello? Hello. So what are the general thoughts now that you've got a little bit of time to sort of reflect on that game? Other than Greenwich absolutely shat first game on the Elephants. It was a good game, just people were getting caught out a bit too much, as well as the farm on each side was, there was a, there was a clear difference in the actual farm and how many minions they were losing. That's really what started the game. Mm, it was very, uh, it was like, we, we could see that both teams sort of were at equal, like, you know, at an equal, um, they were at an equal sort of skill level. They were both teams who knew what was happening and knew how to control the field. However, um, the one problem with uh, South Bank is that they were, I think they were just caught out. Uh, they still can't hear you, Shaq. Are you kidding me? I think, hang on. How about now? What about now? Hello, hello. There you go. All right. I've literally had to turn the general output up, 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 up to the maximum. Um, I'm going to have to turn... I'm gonna to have to turn uh, the in-game volume down a little bit when we get back into it, but you'll be able to see that when that comes up. But uh, yeah, um, I think if Southbank could get back into this, which I know they can, they're gonna really need to sort of expect a lot more from Greenwich, because uh, I think they were just really caught out, like in a lot of areas where they didn't expect such aggression, and I didn't think they expected um, for the mid lane to be so active around the field, like. Uh, I forgot what character they played there, but that character... Galleon. The Galleon. Yeah, Galleon. he was everywhere. Like, he was fucking everywhere. Like, is, if someone needed support, the mid lane was down there to help them. And you could definitely see that by the uh, by the amount of um, support kills or assists he got. Like, 19 assist kills on a mid laner. That's, that's nuts. That's honestly nuts. So, if LSB are going to be coming back from this, they really need to expect more in terms of the jungle. They need to expect uh, different players from coming back in, and we're going to be, yeah, they're really going to need to think about getting those team fights in earlier and to try and uh, force force Greenwich to play in their style and not vice versa. So I'm going to tell the guys that ready when they are, and we'll be jumping straight in into the second game of the day. Uh, when they're ready. In fact, I'm also going to be doing a little thing on here. Let's see if I can do it just so you guys know what text or like what percentage we're on. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm going to add this source right here. It's called score source. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to put in... Give me two seconds. Cool. That is fine by me, man. That is fine by me. Going to be increasing the font size just by a little bit, and then I'm just gonna put uh, Greenwich's. Uh, I'm just gonna be putting a uh, Greenwich's uh, thing in here as well. Do not deny me. And there we go. I was willing to like get your old uh, team's logo in, like the Reapers. Because that was such a cool logo, and I don't know why you guys don't use that anymore. No? Anyway, never mind, never mind. It's 1-0 to Greenwich at the moment, and we're just going to be seeing how they jump in. The bands are live. So let's quickly switch over to the bands. And yeah, immediately we see uh, Kelvin and the gang immediately changing up their strategy. The, Sefer the Seraphine which uh, Proto was rocking last game, they're going to actually ban that out so that the enemy team can't pick that. Meanwhile, Zed, Lilia, and, Gre and Girigus is going to be banned. So fairly same bans from the Greenwich guys, but we're seeing an entirely different sort of strategy coming out from the Elephants. So this is a positive... If you're an Elephants fan, this is a positive thing to see. It shows that they're trying to adapt. They're trying to, they're trying to do some other stuff. Muji picks the Lee Sin, like we saw last game. So, there are some sort of similar elements that we're going to be bumping into. Meanwhile, Humphrey, I think we're going to be seeing... Is he going to be picking that character? Oh, he picks the Tristina! Alright. So again, we're seeing a big change in strategy here. Something is up, something is foot. The South Banks 
the South Bank elephants are not going to be sitting still. The Udir is going to come back back out. Uh, that was picked from your side last round, was it? It was banned. Okay. So they're going to take the opportunity that it wasn't banned and they're going to pick it for themselves. Fawnly. He's sort of mousing over really. He's not really thinking about which character he's going to pick. There it is. Rakan. A new character. Okay. So they pick their support. The new support, new strategy coming in from Greenwich as well. So I've got to be adapting more on the fly here. What does Rakan say to you about your team? What does that say about their playstyle going into this next game? In Kaysai. Ooh, it looks like Greenwich is going to take the Kaysai for themselves. Kaysai is a very big win rate character and South Bank picked it last time. But looks like they're not going to... They're going to waver it here. And looks like Greenwich are going to take that character for themselves. Leona. Yeah. Fairly safe support. Fairly safer support than fresh, I'd say. A little bit more bulky. A little bit more... Uh, a little bit more defending. Gives a lot more shields up. And the Galio is being banned from South Bank side. They know how big that Galio was last game. And they're saying, nah, fam. Nah, we're not dealing with that again. So Kessadin is being banned as well. So we can already see that South Bank have banned two characters, which were the very big sort of uh, pillars of the last... Um, game for Greenwich. And the band Shen as well, so they're definitely going to try and counter ban here. They're thinking about what worked for Greenwich in the last game, and they're trying to really cut out that source. So now it's up to Greenwich to see if they can do the same thing with an entirely new set. And they're going to ban Darius. They're going to ban Darius. So yeah, so fairly similar bans from Greenwich, but an entirely new plan coming out from South Bank. So is this going to mean we're going to see a different game? Are South Bank going to take this one? You never know. You never know. Also, I just realised, I just realised something. Go back to the face cam stream. It's one, I put 1-0 to South Bank uh, instead of 1-0 to, to, to Greenwich. So I'm going to change that real quick. So people know what's happening. Okay, that's fixed. Cool. Sona coming in, yeah. Definitely know Sona can be very lethal uh, in the hands. And Diana is coming in from South Bank as well. So Greenwich have responded with uh, the bands and they've picked their sort of their own sort of lineup to try and come up with a new plan, but Looking at these characters, with Orn being their final pick, do you think their game plan's going to change any bit, or is this a completely new sort of loadout for them? <laughs> Alright. Meanwhile, on the South Bank side, they've picked an entirely new set. I think we're not seeing a single character which was picked from the South Bank side from the last game. This is definitely sort of um, big up, and I think we got another proxy ban. Because... Yeah, they're missing a player. Alright. Okay. They go into the actual game with the people they want to play. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is subs. We did allow sub. Um, we did, did allow subs, uh, we did tell the guys, so we allowed at least three subs per team. Uh, I think these guys, I think our guys are going for more of a free stack. Because these are the generally our three players, five players, which we normally play with. And we're trying to stick towards that, ready for the summer season. But meanwhile, uh, Greenwich have got a lot more of a beefy roster. I think you guys have, uh, two extra we, we players. Have like, or two um, or three. In, in general, or just today? Just today, today. Just, just today. I think that they're, they're. Um, I think we've got one sub for today. Um, if they, just in case they want to play or someone needs to leave. Okay. It's going to be a long marathon, so having subs is going to be fairly Three good on hand. Yeah. And I definitely know there's some players uh, in South Bank who'd love to sub in the last minute if they needed to, 
I've definitely seen Liv speak up, and uh, I know that she is very, uh, she is very uh, uh, passionate about LSBU esports. Participated in the female league in the winter season. You had a female league team. Uh, we had someone compete in a female league team. Ah, uh, okay. Because uh, Newell Howell held those, and uh, they made it u into uni just so they oh. could fill up numbers. Numbers. I wasn't even aware of that. Yeah, you should pay more attention. You aren't you a uh, are you aren't you a Newell uh, representative for yourself society? No, yeah, I am. But, um, we didn't we didn't have we, we we at the time we only had one. Well, we didn't even have any female league players, so it, it wasn't really like a an interest for us. Well, they're going to do it again next season, so keep an eye on that. And if you're in the chat, and if you're you know woman wishing to go into esports, definitely join either of our societies, and we'll try and get you in as soon as possible. Because that's a big opportunity, and I think, you know... I definitely think that uh, representation is a big point for both our teams, and both our societies. I do like Blitzcrank. I do like Blitzcrank's design. Your judgment is clouded. I just like the weird oddball designs. <laughs> like, uh, I, like, I remember when I tried to play League of Legends, I tried to get into, uh... Fiddlesticks after the after the redesign because Fiddlesticks, Fiddlesticks oh. is so cool. It's really really. Have you seen the uh, Fiddlesticks cinematic? Yeah, of course I did. That's why oh, I like. That's why I like so it. <laughs> that was really cool. I did like that a lot. Yeah, I do love. I do love like uh, like the specific changes like they did to him. Like especially comparing him to his original design, where it just looked like this goofy oddball like sort of Batman villain, like oh, early nineteen sixties Batman villain, and then they just turned him to like. An utter nightmare. That was really cool. I'm also very like... concerned about the. Uh, I'm concerned about the uh, Doctor Mundo rework. Is, has that been released yet, or is that in like early beta? I wasn't even aware. I don't pay too much attention, but I play, I play a lot of Doctor Mundo. I dare I say. Huh. I really enjoy them. Shout outs to um, <laughs> shout outs to our CS:GO team leader Rosk, who during our 24-hour live stream said that Doctor Mundo was top tier, despite. Dr. Mundo not being anywhere near top tier for the last three years. He's not top tier at all, but <laughs> where I'm playing right now, in terms of ranks, it doesn't really matter. No, no, not at all. You can really play any sort of character. I, I, you're talking to the guy that mains a penguin in Smash Bros. Oh, anyway. You main... Okay. Yeah, okay. You know the one. You know the one. Yeah. The one with the big hammer and stuff. King DDD. Can't hear the second caster at all. I think it's because he's speaking a little silently. I'm... I've turned him up max. Hello? Turn up to the max. Can you still can you hear me now? I can hear you now. I can hear you now. I'm gonna turn up like uh, my Discord output. I don't know why my mic comes through so quiet. Maybe it's my window settings. You're not. You're not coming through quiet in my end. Uh, I think it is just on my end. I think. I think it's just because you talk oh. slowly. Like here, I've turned you up on Discord. So say hello to everyone. Hello everyone, can you hear me? Alright, that might be a little too loud. You're hitting all you're maxing out my uh, OBS thing. Uh, oh, okay. Whoops. But uh, no no don't worry, I'm gonna turn you down. Don't do anything on your side. And uh yep, alright, that'll do. Okay. Because on through my um stream labs we're we're hitting like the same point, which is mm. weird. It's yeah. weird, it definitely is weird. Can't hear the second caster at all. All right, cool. Tulu Tulu says that's good. All right, so shout outs to Tulu. You've done a really amazing job this season, and I really hope that uh, the varsity goes well for uh, the other teams as well. We're we're pulling out for Absbu for all the, all the teams. Also, shout out to Kelvin, who I think is from the from the Badman team, or oh, the Badminton team. So uh, yeah, we have got a little bit of cross promotion here. So just because you you're a nerd playing esports, you know, for your university, does not mean you get to be inactive. You also get to be a very active person who's interested in all sports, like Kelvin here. Esports is a perfectly normal sport, so have you know? Yeah, exactly. It's very normal sports. Esports is sports. At least I'm contracted. Very... I'm contracted to say that because we're getting esports-related funding from our union. So if I say anything otherwise, <laughs> 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 yeah. anyway, JK, JK. Uh, anyway, just getting down. We've got fifty seconds left, so. Uh, any final words uh, to your boys if they're listening in at home? Uh, they're playing. They'd be in the game right now. So um, yeah, definitely feeling it. They're definitely feeling it. The only thing I would really say to them, anyway, is uh, keep it up. 
keep doing what you do best, keep that synergy going, and you're good. They're definitely looking good. They're definitely looking very strong at the moment. But South Bank are coming in with an entirely new uh, sort of loadout here. Yeah. Entirely new heroes. Let's see if they've identified what problems they were going in. And let's see if they Actually, can adapt. Saying that, we've only got one character that we played last uh, last game, which is the Lee Sin. Yeah, from, from both sides. To be fair. Well, we did see the case side from uh, South Bank's side, but that's now picked from the from the leaks from the uh, Greenwich side. And to be fair, you guys mostly did that because on our side we banned like all the characters you played last season, last time. Like three <laughs> three characters you picked we banned. So yeah. it's definitely got to keep that in mind. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to jump back into the game. Let's go. Uh just let me get everything set up again. Do 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 so here we got Kaisai with a cleanse and a flash, a Lee Sin, flash, smite, Orm, teleport, flash, Silas, teleport, flash, and Rakan, flash, exhaust. Yeah, we're jumping straight in again. So game two of the best of five between South Bank Elephants, Greenwich. Very strong position in the first game. We're going to be seeing if South Bank can bounce back. So you say South, you say Bank. South Bank, South Bank. Elephants are going to be stomping. Elephants be stomping. Here we go. We're going to be seeing South Bank Elephants on the top side this time. Their skin's new sort of loadout being presented there and yeah what do you mean never mind ah you're recording all these for uh, sub references we also hope to upload all the vods up onto our youtube page so be careful for that also we're going to be uploading our next vod for our next uh for the previous uh, evening with the pig, we had with Alpha Kenny V2, just a little bit of self promotion. And tune in next this weekend where we're going to be interviewing our co founder, Amy Smith, who's now part of Cardiff University and their esports team. So can't wait to can't wait to catch up with her. So if you guys are from Greenwich and you want to learn more about being in the esports industry, you know, come join us. Yeah, good, good. I, I I I work hard to make it interesting. I work hard to make it interesting. Anyway, just about to start off. Looks like we're going straight in, and already we're seeing South Bank group up in the bot lane. Gungle. Oh, R level one rank up. Again, we saw this similar start up from South Bank, taking down as a group. It's now Axe in the mid lane. Last time, I think we saw Proto in the mid lane, and now Proto's in the top lane. So that adaptability we saw from South Bank earlier that we just discussed is definitely coming out full force. The big sword, the big boy sword, comes directly down. Oh, cut out from the grass. Snake in the grass and there's going to be a snake in his boot as massive damage is going to be turned onto Humphrey. Prota going directly to level 2. These, this is playing a much more of an aggressive game plan. But South Bank need to be careful. If they... Ooh, gets grabbed but too low. Not really able to get much damage down. Let me get all this stuff back up for you in fact because uh, there's a bunch of stuff which... Uh, I need to show you guys. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, time controls. There we go. There you go. Uh, there we go. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. And let's also reorganize all of these. So we got on the left this time, we got uh, Greenwich.
at South Bank again with a steady start. They really South Bank really favour the sort of tempo start. Muji, oh, is he gonna die? He is gonna die. It's gonna be South Bank taking the first game, and I think Hunt Fubri is gonna be following him directly after. Much better start coming in from South Bank. Let's go, boys. Very good start. Looks like some sort of adaption has been taken in from the elephants, and they're going to apply it directly. So, yeah. Yeah. And we're going to be seeing that as we got... David, as the Asian arises, going into the jungle, into the bot lane. Meanwhile, Axe, Moji really wants that fight. He wants to get that run back. He's like, nah, nah, fam. Come here. But Axe is going to be getting another level up. And there he... Yeah... Both teams are moving in. And they're really, like... I think Greenwich realised they need to sort of get something back here if they want to get the momentum again. Oh, Prona calls him out! Humphrey gets called out! Amazing sort of read there from Prona. Getting directly from the bushes. To be fair, I think it was because of the... Uh, the rune? Or, not the rune. The ward. The ward, yeah, in the, in the grass there. I'm able to spot him out. Muji going straight in, dealing a lot of damage to Axe. But Axe fights back. He might want to be a little bit more careful here. He does proc a healing. Yeah. A little green around him means they proc the healing secret. So, Ekan, Ekan is a... Uh, doing the... A little bit of talk coming from, taunts incoming in from him. David is going to recall back. But I think think Greenwich are going to know that. So they're definitely going to know. He can. It's just taunting. In the middle of the bot lane. Do you know, do you know this guy personally? Is he known for this type of stuff? Uh, in the bot lane. Uh, it can. Yeah. It can to see was uh, just straight up taunting in the bot lane. Like, in front of everyone. Axe is going to take down Muji again. That's going to be another kill coming in from South Bank. Axe is just dominating this this mid lane. And meanwhile, the bot lane is going to be lit on fire. The Azen Rises takes down Thornley. Kanda is trying to come back, trying to get something, but he's going to be taken down as well. Stunned. Azen directly in the turret. He's going to be killed by Muji, apparently? Wait, I think Muji respawned and got killed in the current. Oh no! Yeah, Muji is gonna get the kill anyway. That was a that was a trade near the end there, but a good recovery from Greenwich, all things considered. But man, a great play from South Bank coming in again. This is exactly what they needed. A really, just huge tempo play coming in, just breaking up in the early game. When you stream in the game, hang on. I think you're right. I think you're right. Hang on, Mashak. Hang on, Mashak. All right. There you go. You've been freed. I've accidentally muted you. You accidentally muted me? Yeah, accidentally. <laughs> accidentally. Thank you, Tulula. Shout outs. Shout outs to chat. Shout outs to chat. If, I wouldn't be anywhere without them. Anywho, anywho, looks like it's going to be an again bot battle for that lane, and it looks like Wrench aren't going to recover some momentum in the bot lane. Yeah, the uh, the castle has far more farm than the uh, Tristano, which is yeah, honestly, yeah. like a worth a champion's kill. So yeah, good stuff, and they also got the momentum on the Drake, which is spawned in. Stefan is going to get 
uh, one of the mobs in the jungle. That's what's going to include for a little gold boost. They are still slightly behind in total gold than South Bank, but you know, six kills coming in hot off the presses is going to do that to you. Ludir is going to be very scary this game, I can tell you that. Yeah. He's going for Rift Herald. Lee Sin is also watching. Axe. Again, the pressure coming in. I think Muji did get a revenge on Axe in the bot lane. Diana rotating down here. Mm. Here comes Proda again. Comes straight, straight in, pulling him in. Is Proda going to get something here? Woo! Proda! Calm down. A little bit cheeky, uh, some use. Axe coming straight in, Stefan flashes out. Good sort of reverse flash. Is Axe going to notice Muji? He isn't, but he's going to take his actions away. All right, here we go. I think this is if Greenwich want to come back, this is their chance to. Meanwhile, Axe and Muji, this rivalry which is playing on. But Muji now has backup in Stefan, and he's going to... He's going to do a lot of damage to Axe. Udir is here though. Yeah, Udir is here. Can we, can the auto director show me back to the action? Thank you. Anyway. The Asian arises. The Asian is here. Locks him down. Proto is doing a lot of work in this uh, top lane here. Ooh. Maybe that switch was a very good call. Yeah. Very good call. Is he there taking Rift Scuttler? He's been noticed. Again, sort of like even Stevens here. This is more of what we expected from the last game. But I'm expecting sort of an explosion coming in, especially on this. Look at this bot lane. We got Humphrey in Here's here, Diana. Uden here. This is going to be a team fight, ladies and gentlemen. Be pair. A the Asian arises, coming straight in as well with Axe. He's just going to get come in. In Chansity, coming straight back in. But Muji is here to back him up, and he's going to lock the Asian arises down. But the Alt's going to come straight in. He's going to back all the way up. I think the Elephants want a little bit more from that, but they'll take a kill. They'll be fine, and they'll take a drink. Oh, they're taking the Drake as soon as they're doing that. Yeah. Amazing team play, and that's going to be a huge momentum play from the Elephants. You know, Humphrey is in the top lane, just sort of doing his thing. Very silent at the moment. And here we go, back to normal positions. I want to look at this mid lane at the moment. Looks like David is helping out Axe in taking down Muji. They stun him. Oh! Herald coming straight in. Bang! Boof! That's going to be a lot of damage coming in on that particular turret. Ooh! Looks like Proto wants this kill. Humphrey, is there going to be an answer? Ooh! Flashed out. Flashed out. Good flash. And Axe. Now Axe is trapped in. Is he going to get some? Is he going to get Sar? No, they're going to back off. They're going to respect each other. A lot of action, a lot of, like, a lot of elephants challenging each other. Like, that's what you got to love about the elephants. They're challenging a lot more. They're, they're sort of respected them a lot more, and they're going to be like, all right, we're not going to allow you to oh, get no. this stuff. Yeah. Oh, Zah, he's going to get stuck in a rock in a hard place, but he's not dead? What? Did he get? No, he, uh, he died. He queued out. He queued out. He, he could tell Oh, uh, okay. Meanwhile, it's going to be David in a lot of trouble, but he's going to get double kill! David! The Asian arises once more. He's got to shut everyone down there. Not an actual shutdown, but he's definitely going to win that 1v2 there. Like I said, it would yeah. be very, very scary. That's why they banned him last time. Yeah, you have to see that that was a big problem on their end. Why did they not ban him this time? Did they just... Were they just cocky, or did they expect... Well, like... no, it was... It was, it was... It was South Bank who banned them. Oh, okay. They, they weren't worried about who did. Okay. Maybe a little bit of bad sort of management, I guess. Hey, South Bank Elephants. I was just curious about this new grey screen simulator for Windows and Windows devices. I was seeing a lot of good... Oh, my God. 
Hey man, don't don't hate on the production quality here. I'm doing my best. Anyway, Proto and Humphrey are going to continue that fight up in the top lane. You know, and Ekan is Ekandasi is going to fight a little bit, but they're going to go back for some purchases in the store. Oh, Humphrey fighting back. He is going to fight the minion way back to the center stage, but Proto is just Proto is doing a really good job, just like keeping Humphrey down. See Diana taking the blue buff. Yeah. I'll give her cooldown reduction and some mana. That's a good job. There's Kelvin. He's gonna get outed. Oh, Kelvin. Oh boy. You better want to run now. He flashes out. Just managed to get out. That would have been a terrible situation there, but he managed to get out of dodge pretty quickly. You know, Axe. He's going to deal more damage. Stefan, he's been not... Like, we are talking about like how powerful of a game Stefan had this round. And then you compare it to this game, and Stefan's being entirely shut down. Let's see Stefan's score at the moment. Stefan is on... Du -du 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 -du. I can't even see. He's on one kill and four deaths. And Axe is on a rampage. Axe is one of our star players going into this... A star player for a first year. And he's definitely putting in work. And now the team is being united at the moment. 12 and 2. 12 and 2. This is an entirely opposite sort of situation we had from last time. And Proto is going to take down Humphrey and level up at the same time. He's really farming and he's really dominating the top lane there. I think he actually might also get the turret there if he wants it. Mountain Drake will be spawning in 40 seconds. Yeah, and South Bank seems to have the positioning. Proto is going to take down this turret. This turret's going down. There it goes. Stefan trying to catch him, but he's just not in time. Enough. Not in time. Ooh, Kelvin Humphrey does level up a good period of time, but he's going to get flashed. He's going to get beaten out. So are we going to see a team, but set of teams like fall around uh, the Drake here? We are seeing Axe and David going into the jungle. I think they're planning to take this Drake, but I think I uh, think Kelvin and Humphrey is going to have a bit of trouble trying to get that sort of area there. Okay, Axe. Sufan is going to flash out. He really wanted to challenge that. But that Drake is going to go to the South Bank Elephants. It's more good for them. They can just collapse. Yeah. The Cloud Winds Awaken. So, I'm not... I have to respect like South Bank Elephants play because they adapted very well. Because I've not seen as many sort of like uh, I've not seen that same like uh, around the around, like that same sort of dynamic play like uh, from from uh, Greenwich at the moment. So they've de been definitely put in their own lane. They've basically been fought out. They've basically been doing exactly what I've been saying they should be doing. They've been forcing Greenwich to play their game. And once they've been forced to play that game, South Bank are playing it a lot better. Proda doing a lot of damage to Hubri. Hubri for Nua. Even more gold for the Asian. And again, we've got sort of a chill period. South Bank in control around the map. A little bit more laning. Hmm. Had a bunch of recalls coming in from Greenwich. I think they're. Um, we had Lee Sin and uh, Muji uh, go back for more to And you definitely see he's definitely looking a little sharper, a little faster. Just smite the frog. Yeah. 
Let me rearrange some of these scores for you guys real quick. Yeah, you got three, four players over 100 points or 100 million kills on South Bank sides in comparison to Greenwich at the moment. Muji, that is looking like a death. 14 2 to South Bank. But meanwhile, in the bot lane, it looks like Greenwich might have a little something a little more cooking up for them. Oosh. Alright, here we go, guys. Team fight coming in. The Raisin Rise is going on a rampage. Axe takes down another one, and it's going to be a clean sweep for the elephants. Stefan is only there to watch. Stefan is just moving, trying to get something done, but he is just completely outleveled by Prota. And two turrets are coming down again. Oh, Muji giving a much better fight, and Prota is going to be down very low. Muji could fight that, but I think his focus is needed somewhere else at the moment. As down in the mid lane, Kelvin is going to be taking down this turret quickly. Bornry is going to back that up, but that big boy. Boom! Turret destroyed. That's job done. Trying to get out of dodge now. 18-2. God damn. God damn. They have a 10k gold lead as well, so that's a lot of items. I mean, the only thing Greenwich can really do here is hope for a few random picks out of the blue, farm up, get more gold, and then eventually try and come back. That's their best option. Yeah. Pretty even about both ends and going back to basic laning. Stefan. Let's look at Stefan's rating at the moment. 1 and 5. In fact, I'm not liking at all. Yeah. Though we do have to still have to shout out for the amount of work that uh, the amount of work that Thornley's putting in, like 210 minion kills. He's been trying to like source something, like something for uh, against South Bank here. But he's not really been yeah he's not really been able to transfer that to proper results. Throw it in again, batting for the top lane. He's wanting that last turret just to slowly trickle it down. Trying to get the minions in from the other end. Oh, South Bank are all over the other Drake, and there's no Greenwich players in sight to get it. That's Dragon number three or number two? I forgot. Yeah, yeah Dragon number three. Did you see that dragon? <laughs> the trash talk is coming out in chat, guys. Greenwich. I think we might have a little bit of spoilers coming in, because a bunch of people are speaking in chat. I think shouldn't be speaking in chat. Guys, remember, wait a little while, guys. Wait a little while before shit talk, okay? Either that, or they're doing it in the middle of the game, which is the most BM thing I've ever heard of. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't really see too many possibilities the game could end in the next three minutes, so... Alright, so it is the most BM thing I've ever heard of. Okay, let's see how it's going. It's perfectly possible. Perfectly possible. Meanwhile, uh, the... Uh... Don't worry, guys, about like stream streaming, by the way, because we're looking at uh, delay. Stream sharing is, or screen cheating is very unlikely. So do not worry about that. Meanwhile, Stefan. Ah, oh, Stefan. This dude. Oh, I feel sorry for this dude. 
Under levels, underperforming, under the weather. Meanwhile, he's got the pig out. Look, shout out to the pig. Shout out to the pig. Just out here. We out here, boys. Just chilling on the far goal. Yeah. Like a strong pig should. I guess this is the way the game could end. Yeah, Axe, meanwhile. Stuck in a rock and a hard place, but he's going to get help from Frodo. Coming directly in to stop it. Frodo is unstoppable. Taking another kill. Humphrey, the big chunkers. The big chunky boy is trying to stop him, but he's going to be crumbling one by one. Frodo's going to get another one. Triple kill. As an Arise, North's going to clean it up. Godlike from Asian Arises. And here we go. You said it wasn't possible to end in the next three minutes. Oh. They're already in the base. They're already hunting. That's an ace for Proda. They're coming straight in. Down comes the second health bar. Down comes the bottom inhibitor. This is all just coming and down. End in the next three minutes. Well, I think it just did, my friend. I think it just did. Looks like South Bank are are roaring back into action, stomping in their way back in the action, and Greenwich are going to be left with a lot of questions themselves. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Wish we had a coach. Uh, I know, guys. Give me. Uh, I. I've been trying, guys. I've been trying. Anyway, that's going to be South Bank coming in with the clap back. The. Uh, hang on. Bit, 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 bit. The shout back. And that's going to be 1 1 between the two. So, yeah, that was a stomping. That was a stomping. How do you explain that? What, what are you going to be talking about with the Greenwich guys after that? Well. I just, I just expect them to adapt again and then come yeah. back. This is a momentum so, thing. This, they can totally come back from this. Yeah. Uh, I do like, like I do remember, uh, like uh, South Bank have like uh, had a little bit of trouble adapting. So it's very good to see them, you know, this active in uh, the best of three. But now yeah. it's time for uh, Greenwich to sort of think about where they're going to be, about how they're going to be doing. And uh, yeah, we'll be having another five minute break and we will uh, see you again. Uh, we're going to just go have like a quick, uh, I'm probably going to make a coffee. I'm going to be resting my vocal cords and we'll be right back. Uh, we'll don't miss, we'll see you then guys. We'll see you then. Okay. Yep. All right.
Okay. Back. Hello, guys. We've got a little bit of a special guest here on my shoulder. You right, dog? Come on. Say hello, Bomb Bomb. Say hello. Okay? Mm. Anyway, we missed the previous game. I'm just going to quickly shut my door. It was a very exciting game. Basically, the exact opposite of what we did in the first game. With Greenwich sort of crumbling in sight. And, yeah, not really, um, not really, um, any room for them to move. Southbank really locking it down and them taking the win pretty handedly. So, uh, what do you think, um, was there any sort of, like, momentum shift you should probably think about, uh, coming into the next game, uh, Shaq? Uh, I think the next game's gonna probably be the most interesting one, or, or even the next two games. Mm, like, um, yeah, it's gonna Just be... Just because they, 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 they've seen each other at their strongest, now they're gonna mm. really, really go in for it. Yeah, well, it's all in. Both teams have now, because it's 1-1, both teams have now... Uh, confirmed the points to their university towards the national varsity, uh, with a, with each team at least getting one point for their univers for their university. So you know, there's they're at least contributing somewhat uh, through that. But now it's going to be depend on who gets the moolah, who gets the proper bragging rights, who gets the uh, who gets basically the uh, the bragging rights. Really, then we're going to be seeing how we're going to be jumping straight into it. So. They message the players that they're ready when you are. And we're going to be going into ban number three. So, uh, considering the previous bans from uh, the, from our side, um, the fact that we've heavily... Do you, like, is there any sort of like character picks when uh, you um, that you expect from your players, you know, from playing them here and there? And is there sort of any... Uh, is there sort of like any sort of areas which they think they might try? Like any sort of like hidden strategy that you guys have been working on? I think it's going to be a little bit more careful this time. That's completely fair. Just, Just because like... they were they they were probably so surprised at obviously what happened last game. Mm. Yeah, but to be fair, like I wouldn't play too carefully, like because like I think I think that that's what's what gave the. Uh, that was what gave South Bank Elephants really the, uh, just sort of like the chance to really open up the game, right? Um, and um, they need to be considerate about, uh, like, how are they going to really, like, enter, you know, this game differently? Like, do we want to play a little bit more dynamically? Is there any sort of trick up our sleeve that could really catch them on guard? Because I think South Bank really did extremely well into sort of countering, um, uh, Greenwich there, in, especially after their first game. They knew exactly what sort of strat they were running, and they just played a little bit more aggressively, and they got that early kills off the start of the game, which really caught them off guard. And from there, it was just kind of a steamroll. So, um, they could play a little bit more carefully, but then again, like, that's still playing within, like, at South Bank Elephant's comfort zone, because they want them to play more carefully, they want to play that more standard game of, C of League of Legends. But at the same time, like, you know, you, you'd want to see, you, you'd want to see, like, um, if there's a way that they can sort of out-aggress their, out-aggress South Bank Elephant's aggression. Uh, one player I really want to see more out of from Greenwich, Mr. Stefan. He was a huge, like, pillar for, um, for, uh, Greenwich in the first game, but he was nowhere to be seen in the second one. Do you know? Do you know Stefan personally? Is that sort of like something which you know more about that character, about that player? Well, I don't know exactly how everyone plays perfectly because I haven't played too much with them. But I think in the in the first game it was just down to circumstances because in this in the second game you you really saw uh, the mid laner Diana really really going for it and getting those kills and then you saw Aatrox top so mm -hmm. when it came to t for time to gank essentially it was a lot harder to secure the kill and it was just really it was just a lot more of a cool one farm up, yeah. from South Bank to really counter those gankings so um yeah the teamwork was definitely much better in this uh, in the second game they were caught out less mm. and um 
yeah, they could collapse a bit more. Mm. And they definitely had a lot less room to really put their support on. I think also the bans really hurt them. Because I feel like the game plan they were trying to go for, it was just less supported by the characters they picked. So it'll be very interesting to see South Bank's bans, really, I think, for Greenwich. Like, are they going to keep the same plan and ban what they previously banned? Knowing that, you know, they did very well with those old characters in the first game. Like, how are they going to adapt? Uh, are they going to adapt the playstyle and add new characters to the mix so they can catch them out? Or are they going to, like... Are they going to, like, uh, expect something different? Are they going to, like, do a different sort of bands to try and predict any counterplay coming in from, from Greenwich? So it's going to be very interesting to see how that dynamic is playing out. Uh, we just have to wait a little longer because... Uh, uh, I think we had a little bit of problems with uh, their support. All right, they're ready. Yep. All right, they're looks ready. like we're jumping into bands, guys. Get ready. All right. Actually, get the record bands done. Actually, gotta get all our bands done. Seraphin straight Seraphin off the bat. Banned. Yeah, we're seeing the same bands from last game. Seraphin was banned first from South Bank, and it's banned again here. Lillian, Lillian. is also banned from Greenwich to side. Morgana, Morgana, we're seeing band. this is Deja Vu. Z banned. Well, the main tactic with banning is banning your your opponent's strongest characters, mm. as well as people who could really destroy you, the personal setup that you want to go for. Mm. So it's definitely going to be interesting. Definitely going to be interesting. Their fear is oh, they, they banned it. South Bank banned it. That is weird. I guess it's because they they fear Udo on Grench's side. Because yeah. th like, they know that they were picking second, so they don't want Udo to be picked by Greenwich, because they're going to pick have Puff's pick after their next ban. Uh, so that was more of like a... Wait, no, they pick first. Yeah, well, yeah, they pick first, sorry, yeah. Yeah. But then they could just pick Udo if they're scared of Greenwich. Banning that. I don't get that. Like, they did yeah, really they well. They don't want to play Udyr personally, so they don't want them to play Udyr. Okay. I can see that, but I'm, I'm a little bit I'm a little bit weirded out. Because David was one of the pillars for South Bank in that game, with Udyr. And you really gotta, like, consider like... Are they shooting themselves in the leg by banning that character? Oh, Maybe. Thornley. Thornley is looking for something different. Unfortunately, we can't actually even see the chat, can we? Oh, no, he's not picking something different. Galio's coming back. Galio in the first game was Galio. a... Galio in the first game was a very good character for them. Like I said, 19 assists during the entire game. Or oh, was it 14? I forgot. Anyway, nineteen. Yeah, yeah, it was nineteen. Um, yeah, it was it was a very strong character pick, and it was able to run all over the map. Lulu's also coming in, another new character from Greenwich. We're looking at the entire library here, folks. Uh, so we're going to be seriously how Lulu is used. I know Lulu's kind of a meta at the moment. Like, is is she's a support character, isn't she? Corky. Yeah. Corky. All right, South Bank are here also trying something new as well. They're really trying to change this up. Oh, oh are we going to see it? Oh, we can see the Shen. Or the Arya. Or the Ashi. It's Ashi. Nope, we're going to see Tristina. Same, old, same as last time. Muji, what do you have in store? Caitlyn. All right, Caitlyn was banned in the thing in the first game by South Bank. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see Caitlyn out and play for the first time, just because you know it was identified by South Bank to be a very strong character. So it's going to be very interesting to see uh, see that character actually being used by Muji.
Brass Band coming in from Greenwich. Greenwich seem to be banning the same characters which they banned the last game. But Autrox is a new ban. That was another character which uh, Proto was able to use at great effect in the top lane. And I think that's going to be very hard for Proto to really... Uh, it's going to make it a little harder for Proto to really handle the top lane. But South Bank have been handling their roles in a more lucid manner. So it doesn't have to be Proto in the top lane. It, has to, it could be... Uh, I think Axe is the other person in the top lane and Proto takes mid after that. And Orn is banned by South Bank. So the two bulky behemoths in the top lane in the previous game have been banned. We're looking at the final two players. Final four picks. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Shock us, guys. And this time, don't do proxy picks. Come on. Kane. Is that Kyan or Kane? Kane. 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 Yeah. Ken's very interesting because uh, he's a little a bit more adaptable than some characters. Mm. He that has two true. forms. That is true. I mean, what Axe might be picking Will Lucid up on the South Bank side. Ooh. Oops. And oh. I. Ooh. Or is that a pro? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, the orb. No, he's going Skana. Is that something you expect? Uh, or is this Skana another doesn't... proxy pick? Scott Scanner is very, very fast. Very fast. Well, if there's anyone in the team that can use Scanner, it's probably Axe. He's a very sort of like high APM player. So well, they're gonna they're gonna switch um, who they're picking afterwards. Oh, Mordecai's Mordecai 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 is very a... strong. Yeah, Pro Proto's very strong early game. Proto's uh, switched out one big buff boy with a sword with another big buff boy with a sword. I'm gonna see which mace. Yeah. Oh, he has a mace, right? He's just picked up his other big buff big boy. All right. Big buff boy, yeah. Yeah. And meanwhile, another big buff boy. Yeah, Bola Bear. It's definitely interesting to see the fight between Proto and Hubri because they're both very evenly matched players, playing the same sort of roles. And here, I think it's got to be no different. Basically, picking up two other big boys, and we're gonna be seeing how they go in from there. Players are now choosing their loadout. They now know Kane what is we're very banning. scary because he can. Uh... Kane can clear those jungle camps very, very quickly. Mm. That is true. That is true. They're definitely seeing like a different play. We're seeing more of a skew towards the first game in terms of strategy from the Greenwich side. But we're also seeing like a very weird sort of composition from the South Bank side as well. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be basically what I'm hoping this shows is. The two different sides in this game basically colliding, like the Greenwich from the first game versus the South Bank of the second game. You know, it's going to be very aggressive, yeah. very sort of high paced, and just like that, the players have started. So we're going to be waiting three minutes to wait for them. And uh, yeah, hope you guys are doing well. Give me one moment. Go ahead, bro. You give me one moment. Time. Yeah. Go. You got the time. I'm here whenever you need it. I'll keep the audience entertained. Anyway, just waiting for our next game. If you don't know what this is about, this is the this is the South Bank versus Greenwich Varsity, the virtual era. And uh, last year we had our Varsity cancelled uh, due to some uh, you know COVID coincidences, and. This season, we're going to be move. We've moved everything towards uh, an online sort of sense. So, um, the other sports teams, if you're a member of any of the other sports teams in the main, uh, in the main sort of uh, in the in the other sports teams, it's been a long day, folks. And I apologize. <laughs> then you'll be able to do your own challenges and you'll basically, instead of fighting 1v1 in a normal sense, you'll be basically doing your challenges at home and depending on how well you do, you'll be receiving an amount of points here. In terms of how many points you earn for esports teams, it, it, we've been received five points for this tournament and we'll be splitting them up depending on the performance of each one of our teams. So if we win 3-1, then you at least get one point. 
with the other team getting four. If it goes to the full five games and it's three two, then the winner gets three points and the loser gets two points. And fortunately for both teams, because they scored one point, we avoid the situation where three zero blowout would give the other team the full five points. So at least one team's getting points. You know, a team's contributing. A contribution is a contribution. And both teams could probably be happy with that. But now we're going to be seeing who's going to get the early advantage because this is the first challenge and the first sort of points being put on the scoreboard. So it's going to be very interesting to see where both teams go from here. Crunch. I'm back. You got a little snack? Sit down. Have uh, a snack. No. That was yeah, I, wish I, I, thought, I, thought, I thought you had like uh, something with you. Like uh, Oh no, no sorry. Yeah, it's, it's mess from my desk, but Ah, okay. Okay. I've literally just been messaged by uh our, our treasurer Shane. Shout out to the real cup of tea, Shane. And he just messaged the scoreboard of part of our stream materials. We have a whole entirely new stream materials by the way for this event. That's why we're seeing all the stuff. This was partly from our FIFA tournament earlier in the year. Shout out to Shane for coming up with all this stuff. This is all incredible stuff and all very high tech, but time to get rid of this sort of like uh, during our games, we're going to be getting rid of all this like uh, cruddy stuff and I'll see if I can sort out the uh, the proper scoreboard we have in mind. So uh, yeah. Anyway, we are jumping straight in. Both these games are very uh, are basically basically been dependent on 